So I'm going to be talking a little bit about my faith, but because I'm actually doing a, a Easter cross, and to me the Easter cross has a lot to do with my faith, and I'll, I'm planning to put some of my, you know, the Christian type themes in there. I'm making these little teeny tiny flowers, and I'm making them because I'm working on this cross, and I it's not all done yet, and I'll show it to you a little bit later, but, but before I kept on designing, I decided I was going to make a couple of small little flowers. Um, and these are made out of ribbon, it's a one and a half inch uh, ribbon that um, you can buy at many places. Um, there are other people who carry it. I just carry it because I do use it. And I do have, I don't know, about five colors of it, five different colors to choose from. And I chose colors I thought I might want to use in this project. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just making them so that I have them ready and to make some decisions on what I what I want to actually add as my last parts of this design and um, it actually just makes a cute little flower and you just see it just makes a little like a cluster flower and I do have tutorials on that I'm not sure if this green is going to go so I'm not going to make it right now but as you can see um, I'm going to take everything off because these are things I put on there in my imagination what I wanted to do I was thinking of using this dove as to talk to think about that um, Easter is not about Jesus on the cross to me but that Jesus Christ rose again and when he rose again <clears throat> actually that means that he lives in us now so with that um, the dove to me represents the Holy Spirit that came down and so that's why I was thinking about using the dove and then um, I have a crown because um, Jesus is the king of kings so um, but let me show you what I have down below because I actually I want to show you what I used for this. What I used, okay. Now this is a cross I purchased at Dollar Tree, and I'm going to turn it over so you could see what it was. <laughs> it was one of the um, the the St. Patrick's Day type crosses, and I I'm actually good. I didn't not even paint it. The reason I didn't paint it is because I love the green color, but I didn't want this type of a green glitter on mine. And so uh, when I'm done, I think I'm going to cover the back with felt to cover all this up or a fabric or something. So um, right now, this is what my back looks like. And what I did to start off, because I like the back, the green color of the back, I like this avocado type green that it was already. I thought about March podging over it at least once, but I didn't. I decided to just go for it. I took apart, first thing I did is I took apart this really large doily. And this doily is actually one that is, um, it feels like a, not cotton. It's actually one of the doilies that is made out of some type of a synthetic type yarn. And I don't use these that much, but I want to learn how to use them. And so I decided to use it as the back of my um my cross so i took this part right here you could see the stain on it but one of those is stained because it's a vintage piece i took this and i actually placed it you can see it the best here i actually placed them right here like that and i knew that i was going to and then i placed a longer a long, I cut a longer piece of the same piece and used it for here and so that's my base and the green you see coming up is the actual color that was already on the on the cross and it's basically just a thin a thin board and I like to use a lot of Dollar Tree pieces and then I repurpose them and I use them for something else so I started with that and then I decided I wanted to put use some of my appliques I recently got a several appliques and I'm beginning to put them in my shop plus I'm also um, made an applique um, crafty box so you can go and see that crafty box in my um, Etsy shop it's there but anyways I decided I wanted to use something beautiful I wanted to use some of those appliques I wanted to use handmade some of my handmade flowers some of my own stash also because not everything do I carry in my shop. I just carry some things. So um, this is basically was a, an applique that was, uh, let me see if I have one here. I don't have one here. It was, uh, it had the other side. This is the other side of it. It actually was one of those swirls. So it would swirl back and forth. I got two of them, cut off, cut off this part of the swirl. 
and then I decided I wanted to make both sides the same so I made them the same and then here this was actually like a medallion one that I have and this one is pretty plain it's beautiful and the reason I chose this one is because to me these look like hearts this looks like a heart to me and when I think of um, Easter I think of the love of Christ who actually um, did um, die on that cross and his love we is what we have now through the Holy Spirit so that's why I chose the hearts and um, at the same time things I'm putting on it I'm considering are crowns I have this crown and um, I do have a small crown I might add to it I don't know what I'm going to do exactly but you saw that I decided to do the dove and think of Easter as spring and put this white dove. Now, where did I get this dove from? These are the Dollar Tree doves that are Mama. there during Christmas time. And that's Isaiah. Say hi, Isaiah. Hi, Isaiah. <laughs> so this dove to me represents the Holy Spirit. And I just think it's just gorgeous. So I got like about five of them or six of them from the Dollar Tree during Christmas and I wasn't sure how I was going to use them but um, I must have liked them because I bought them twice not realizing I had already so bought them. Then I decided well I want roses in here and so that's when I started getting my roses and um, I wanted to get a variety of roses and I'm considering this large one and this large one is one that I do carry in my shop but I was thinking of making a nest of roses so I got some of my wired roses and I like the creams I don't want to be in this project I don't want to be exclusively pink um, I'm gonna put a little bit of lavender in it too if I can find some lavender to add and then I got a lot of other things I got things I thought would look pretty like um, this pink um, fishing wire trim so I was thinking of putting that in the nest inside the nest and hanging out and things like that and I got I, this is a new one I, I I don't I haven't placed in my shop yet but it has hearts on it it's a lot like the same trim I really like those trims a lot and then I had this one I actually haven't placed any of these in the shop but I have about five of them and they're actually I got these at the warehouse and he had a few of them um, but they're pretty. They're already pre-beaded for you and I was considering hanging it from the bottom, maybe. So I thought about putting the a um, crown up here and then I'm thinking, I was actually thinking that maybe instead of that I'll use this crown and maybe put this crown on top of the dove. Does that not look pretty? That looks pretty, but I'm not sure how I'd make it stick so I might have to just add it like that, you know like that on top afterwards because look at the edges see on the edges of this one it has um oh it's not focusing it has jewels so it won't sit flat on here it might look okay if i put it on top i don't know haven't decided but i'm actually pretty sure i'm going to put that crown on the dove because um to represent jesus the king and the holy spirit um and i will be oh yeah the other thing i considered putting this one on because it has little hearts that make this big old giant blank but I'm not sure because um, so to me the hearts also represent um, Jesus's love so but I thought this one looked better down here on the bottom so as I put all this together I'm going to work on this part here and um, I'm considering down here at the bottom maybe placing maybe a large flower will go there I thought I could place a pink flower and then put the large bling on it I don't know I haven't decided yet so this is how I design I I kind of throw, grab things so this one I think looks prettier I like this color because I don't want it all pink so if I used this one it's a, a large size and then place a large bling over it that would be beautiful and then this is another applique that I have in the shop um, I have these right now. I think they're under two dollars each, but they're really long They're close to nine inches long and I like them because you can cut them apart So I was thinking of cutting it apart and right here on the top I'm thinking I was going to place the rose and Then maybe then the crown someplace on top or I could choose a, or no crown 
I'm not sure. Or just a bling like in the middle of the rose. I, so this is me figuring out. So um, I'm going to keep on working. I like to like bring the colors forward, but yet, you know, make them a little more subtle. So here, leaving this here, you can see peeking through in different places. And I will be covering more of this. So you won't see as much, but it will come back in when I start adding like greenery from these pretty roses. So I'm still at my deci final decision makings. Um, I think I didn't, I didn't show you this one right here. This right here is just a trim I got from Hobby Lobby. And um, let me see, it's right here. And I decided to use that trim on the edge and it had the pearls on it already because I'm trying to go a little elegant. And then I have this stuff. I wish they would have had more at the warehouse, but they only had one. Look how pretty this is. It's it's pink and it has little pearls and little flowers on it. So if I find more of this, then I will get it. But um, as of right now, I only have enough for me to use. <laughs> I have one. So I'm gonna use this as a dangling, like from the nest and dangling down. That's what I'm gonna use some of that. I won't use it all, but I'll use some of that. So. As I make decisions, um, the baby seems to have calmed down. Let me show you some other things I have here. So I, I grab things that I'm thinking I want to use because I want to use doilies. And um, I purchased these doilies from Donna Little. I have a lot of doilies, but I saw her that she had some of these cute little tiny um, doilies. She was doing like, I don't know five for a dollar and that they're little they're really little and I love them to use as a flower center on something or um, I'll turn them into a just a little color adding it and I like the doily look so she had that and she had like a mint green too and then she had this pink doily so I might like turn this pink doily into a, a flower you see how easy that is to turn into a flower or or I may um, just use it as a doily because I'm not sure I want to add a lot more pink in. If I have pink flowers here, I think I might want to do more creams. So I might add a little bit of purple in though. It has, um, this is the trim I got from Hobby Lobby. This is a, a, a um, doily that I placed over it. These are appliques here that um, I have in my shop. I actually have some of these in my shop for sale. And over here, I'll put it sideways, I've placed a medallion, um, which is, I don't know if I put these in the shop yet. And then here I placed down at the bottom some pearl dangles. I have a few pearl, I have a few dangles like this, but I do not have the pearl ones because I was too selfish and I didn't want to share them. <laughs> so um, I'm, I don't know. I, I think I can use them in so many projects that um, I think I'm going to keep them all. Sometimes there's decisions you have to make when you're cutting apart your applique. And I'm thinking I'm going to leave that part on right there for right now. I might take it off later. Hmm. So right now I'm just going to cut it apart because I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this on there and I may cut this off. But if you can see how it's connected, I decided that, oh, that's pretty much connected. I might just leave the swirl on. I might take that off. And what I like when you can remove them is because you can take them off and then move them in a different section. So I'm pretty sure this is going to go here. And see, now I know uh, that it's going to, it's going to get hidden right there by the dove. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that part off. So sometimes I'll leave it on and then I go and change my mind because I'm so frugal. I, I want to use this someplace else <laughs> or something else. So if I place this here, I'm trying not to, I'm trying to think that I want that. There you go. That looks good. There you go. So I was looking up here and where I'm going to place the leaves. I decided to place it right in the middle of that. And then if I place the dove here and I'm going to, I need to work on the nest now. <clears throat> So in my nest, I'm going to place some of these beads and um, I wanted the pink just to bring in the color, a little bit of pink and the creams because of the hearts. Again, it, um, Jesus is love. So I want to show you that you can actually use these in a variety of ways. You can use it and just drape it all around after you're done. 
or you can just, I'm going to use some of it in the nest itself. But I have to arrange everything a bit and kind of decide how I really want it to look. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this big one, but I'm going to start with my little ones again. And I like the look of that. And then I'm going to start a nest. And these ones have wires on them. These are wired. I actually carry this one in my shop too. I don't have very many left and I do not know if I can get them again. Um, so, and when I place things, I usually kind of stagger. Sometimes you can place them in threes, um, bunches, or you can stagger them. I, I kind of just do a mishmash. <laughs> I'm not real specific so I just threw this thing together and I really just want it to stick out not anything thinking if I throw one of these in there that's a lot of cream in in the in one section but I keep that in mind I might switch it around but I have other things I have these little flowers which I can place and just kind of have it peek out here see that and so I'm just going to decide how I'm going to layer these. This one is white. And I'm just putting them to see how do you think that a nest would look. It looks beautiful, I think. Yeah. And then if I place these in here, see this? How beautiful that'll look and the the beads just coming out now these beads i have them under a dollar a yard in my shop and what i like about them is that you can place them okay and then you can just trim out what what's excess later on or you can add them after also you don't have to leave it all so right now i'm just looking and i'm thinking how about how do i want it to look and i think this should i put the big one Someone answer me. What do you think? <laughs> Should I put the big rose or not? Because it's above this applique, I feel like I can, if I could keep it above this applique, I feel comfortable placing it because I don't want to hide my applique. I don't like hiding things. I like um, show, showing them. Um, so I'm really thinking that um, this is my other cross, my other cross. Um, I have carried these in my shop. I don't have very many left. Somebody just ordered. Look at how cute that would look on top of the dove also. That would look cute, huh? But I, where's the other one? And I like this one too. See that? I think I like the pearls because I have such a pearl theme. And I could always hang this one from a ribbon also to dangle down, downward. It's okay if you have multiple things to represent. And, um, I don't know. Okay, I think I'm going to, actually don't even have my hot glue gun on, so I just turned it on. And I'll keep on experimenting as I go. And cut all my wires, because I'm going to use these flowers, but I don't think I'm going to leave all the wires on. So, if you can see the flower choices I'm making, they're actually um, going to bring in some of the green. Um... And then they're bringing in the creams. I like I like creams and whites together. Um, there's another wire. So some of them I leave on the stems because I'm going to actually use it to the stem to actually pop it up. So I don't I don't usually cut the small ones right away because it depends on how I'm going to use them. So I like cream, but I want, he's going to go here, so I'm going to choose like around here just to start with my flowers. I don't think I'm going to put him first, and I like this color. Let's see if my glue gun is ready. It's not, yeah, it is. It's ready. And like I always tell you before, I take things and I, um... Remember, this is supposed to represent a nest. I'm not going to put the beads on yet. And I like to um, place things. So on this this 
this right here, I love, love, love these, and I'm almost out of these. I might keep a few for myself because they're so pretty. And you can group them the way you want, and a lot of times it's based on um, what colors you like, or um, always think of grouping things. Like, I don't, you can group the same color together, but I don't always do that. Okay, let's see how that's going to look. And you can still always add more. Anything like very complicated, but just making some choices. And your choices can be fixed by um, later, too. If you feel like, oh, that doesn't look good, um, then you can make some changes. I decided the pink will look cute right there. And I'm not putting too too much glue because even if I change my mind, I can always take it off. And I keep on putting that close so I can get an idea. And I do want... Like since the bird, what I'm thinking of since the bird is white... I don't want too much cream by him. I, I want to make sure I do put a little bit of colors next to him. So that's what I'm thinking right now. I'm thinking, okay, he needs a little color so that his um, his beauty... ...looking more like a nest as I add the pearls as the pieces of the nest. Instead of like um, those those types of like little things that are, I think I'm going to use this, let's see, huh. I'm talking to myself, <laughs> are you guys listening, I'm, I thought this, this one could use a little color, I think that's going to work, so I took off that little one, and I'm going to stick it right next on top of that other cream color, let's see, and that gave a little bit of pink in there, just a little, just to add a little bit of pink. This is going to add pink also. Now, um, let me decide if I'm going to add this. Okay, you guys tell me, do you think it looks good with that big rose there? I, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think I like it. So, instead, maybe I'll choose this, this one. This little flower that I made. Uh-huh, that's a pretty color, huh? I like that color. Okay. Here we go. So my live videos will turn into YouTube videos also. Um, until I reach 5,000 subscribers, um, I don't have um, enough subscriber. I mean, basically YouTube says that you have to have 5,000 subscribers for you to use their features. I don't know if you know this, but YouTube... Um, you know, because I'm new to YouTube. I haven't been on YouTube very long. Um, but YouTube, basically, as you keep on give, as you keep on increasing subscribers, you get more features that you are able to do. Um, like um, when you see in my videos that I place the like the links that pop up on YouTube to, um, I place those so you can see them. The links to things I talk about those not everyone can do them only people who have I don't know I think it was maybe it might have been 2,000 actually or maybe a thousand they don't give it to everyone to do. is that cool? mm -hmm. okay so how's that looking good I like it I might I might add more but 